Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Diane encounters Ashley's altar, Belle, at Crimson Lights, and they debate about whether or not Ms. Martinez's coffee can be weak. Diane asks how she's feeling. Belle says she's fine. Diane's glad to hear it. Belle scoffs that if she didn't know her so well, that butter wouldn't melt in your mouth routine might actually work. Diane insists she's not pretending to care. Belle tells her she loves to kill him with kindness too. Diane persists with how worried they all are about her. She admitted she didn't know what was going on with her and then ran from the doctor's appointment. Are you afraid of what the doctor might find out? At the motel, Victoria tells Cole she recognizes the keys from a place where Billy once had a storage unit. They have a number on them, and she wonders if that's where Jordan is keeping Claire. At the ranch, Michael updates Victor that there's no sign of Jordan's body. Victor tells him to stop looking for that woman. She's gone and is of no use to them anymore. I am telling you to look for Claire. She may well be fighting for her life as they speak. Michael says, message received. He'll put the team on finding Claire. Victor takes a call from Cole, who updates him about the keys. In the background, Victoria calls Billy for the address of his old storage unit. Cole tells Victor, we're headed there now. Victor will send backup. He hangs up and shares the news with Michael, who thinks they're making a lot of assumptions. He worries it's a trap or a misdirect. Victor says he'll find out and walks out of the room. In the cellar, Victor approaches Jordan's cage. She tells him the accommodations stink and the food is worse. Victor asks, where's my granddaughter? Jordan tells him, you win. She prefers a chateau in France and offers the same deal as before, a new life for her and she'll reveal Claire's location. Victor tells her there's no need. They know where Claire is. We found the keys to the storage room, rather sloppy on your part. Jordan sniffs, I have no idea what you're talking about. Victor intones, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Jordan warns he'd better take her deal if he ever wants to see Claire alive again. Victor thinks she should have taken his deal before. Jordan argues, you still need me. Victor says he has her and he's the only one who knows where she is. This time, I promise you, there is no way out. Jordan hollers, you won't find Claire. You'll be back begging me to help. Victor, as he walks away, at the Abbott Mansion, Tracy meets with Ashley's psychiatrist friend from Paris. Alam recalls how upset Ashley was after visiting the cafe and realizing what she remembered and what happened were two different things. Tracy explains that things got even more worrisome after she got home. She tells him about her personality shifts from assertive, to childlike, to tequila shots and living it up. She's having blackouts that she describes as big chunks of time that are missing. The family is really worried. Tracy tells him her brother thinks she may be experiencing a splintering of her personality. He's experienced something similar himself. The psychiatrist is glad Tracy reached out. Tracy tells the man she's hoping he will talk to Ashley and urge her to get treatment. He explains that he can't treat her himself, but he'll do his best. Tracy is thankful. She just wants her sister back. She explains she knows he's in town and she seemed fine with it, but her sister's moods can change on a dime. At Crimson Lights, Ashley's Bell asks Diane why the CEO of Jabot is picking up brownies or her grandson. Diane doesn't rise to the bait. Jack cares about her, so that makes Ashley her concern as well. Belle scoffs, please Diane, back the truck up. She tells her she's a red-blooded woman who got her heart broken. She doesn't need help. They live their lives without intervention and she plans to do the same. She gets a call from Tracy and rolls her eyes. Tracy tells her Alan is there. Belle says she'll be right there. She tells Diane there's finally someone in this town she can have fun with. As she leaves, she thanks Diane for her concern if it's sincere. Diane asks, why wouldn't it be? Belle says, because you're you. Ta, at the storage unit, 
Victoria tells Cole she's scared what they might find. He is too, but says they can't wait any longer on this. They open the unit and call out for Claire as they stare into the darkness. Claire, are you in there? It's mom and dad. Cole tells Victoria they have to go in. Do you have a flashlight? Victoria gets it out as they hear a groan. Mom, I'm over here. Victoria cries out as she shines the light on her daughter.